Yeah, and they, they obviously broke this one open with that 16-0 run in the second quarter and then never led by less than double digits the rest of the way. What what went wrong during that sequence, and why was it so hard to, to come back from that? Yeah, it was uh, – yeah, there was a, a hole there. There was uh, – I think it was 12 – you talked about that run. 12 of those points were in, were in transit. It was, it was 12-0 in the second quarter there during that time, just in the transition score. Um, so that was, a, that was a difficult part there. Um, and then when you give this team, you know, the, the free running lanes and, and that kind of confidence, we just, we did, they, they, they played well, they, they played very well, played very well against us. Just, uh, we had a hard time with them this year and just for, for different reasons. Um, but that was to answer your question, it was that second quarter, that, uh, 12 in transition there. Bob Gravitz. And Nate, looking at the big picture, what do you feel like you established this year in terms of a style of play and where do you need to improve moving forward? Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of moving parts through this year, you know, a, a ton. Uh, and it was a challenging year, you know, for the for the players and the and the things that, you know, that they go through the scheduling and, and, and you name it, you know, that all teams go through, um, you know, the injuries and stuff played a role in in. Them and, and that stuff and just, you know, fighting to get the guy back and healthy. I did, guys, I, I, I did like the way that we were playing basketball, um, you know, last, I don't know, 10, 12 games of the season. I know tonight uh, wasn't the way that we wanted it to go, but I did. I, I liked the way that we were playing it. And I think, you know, if we want to establish anything out of that, I thought we were sharing the ball very nicely uh, these last couple of weeks. You know, I thought we were getting more and more connected, even though, you know, we were, you know, missing a number of guys there. So um, it just didn't go our way tonight. But but I did there. I, I liked the way that we moved it and shared it um, down the stretch. Greg Doyle. Nate, um, this season was so um, odd, uh, including really in the last couple of weeks with the, the reports. And I, I hate to cite reports. I didn't report it, but we all read about it. What has it been like for you? How do you feel about your place in this franchise and this place in that locker room? I, I tell you, Greg, I just, uh, you know, I pour, I, I pour my heart in, into every, every single game and, and, and this organization and, you know, especially the players. And, and that's just what I'm thinking of most right now is, is the players on this team and, man, I'd do anything for them. And, and, uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't the, the kind of, of, of year and, and results uh, that we wanted. Um, and, but it'll get, it'll be better. It, it'll get better. And I just, I just do, to do everything that I can, you know, for this organization. That includes, like I said, pouring my heart into it. Scott Agnes. Nate, because of the unusual circumstances of everything, do you feel like you ever truly had a hold of this team, of this locker room, in, in a number of ways, even the personalities and so many things that ordinarily you would have time to develop? I mean, you haven't even coached without a mask yet. Yeah, you know, and all that, you know, that is that changing, you know, especially, you know, being a first year coach with with the mask and, you know, uh, facial expressions. I think we got to take our mask off more and more, you know, as 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 the year went on there a little bit just you know there there was there was a number of things that comes at you so quick so so practice time w- was different you know practice time would would revolve around testing time and and sometimes you, you'd really have to take in con- into consideration you know the amount of time it would take for testing and then practice time and then and then managing the t- try to you know stay healthy uh, but but I tell you enjoyed so much um talking and working with these players, especially as the year went on, there's always a lot of ups and downs through the season, but, but the relationships and the love I have for everybody in that locker room is, you know, the sky's the limit on that. Tony East. Hey, before the season, a lot of talk from players and you about making the playoffs, winning playoff series, and that's not going to happen this season. What needs to change for this team in this off season heading into next year to make that a reality? Well, number one is, is number one's getting healthy there, you know, with, you know, with, you know, TJ Warren and, and Miles and, and then with, with Karras is, you know, I just think number one, getting healthy, but, you know, we, that's, that goes over the whole course of the year, you know, to try to put yourself in the best position that you can, 
to be in the playoffs right away without the play in tournament. So we do, we just gotta, we gotta kill, keep building the foundation, the, the base of the offense and defense um, and just keep, just keep growing. You know, we got to know each other better as the year went on, you know, the games were, 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 were like, you know, practices, practice time was shorter. So in games we were learning, I was learning and learning as we were going. So it's just, sticking together through it all Bob yeah Nate let me just ask bluntly do you think you'll be back next year with the Pacers I'm I'm my, my focus is is on this on the players right now and 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 I'm not thinking about myself I'm, I'm really not I just uh I want to just do what's best for these guys and I got to go back and, and and talk to them again we, we talked here a little bit you know when uh when the game was over but I'm gonna go talk to him here a little bit more Thank you. Scott. Nate, what would you say was your biggest lesson learned or the thing you, you couldn't have been prepared for taking over something like this? Yeah, just the, the you've heard me say it, Scott, like the, the, the challenges that, that come at you with the, with the way that the, the season was you know, constructed. And, and the NBA did a great job. And the, the health and safety protocols are the, the tremendous job. Um, our training staff and coaches, our strength staff, they did, they did such a good job year but I think just the number of you know the number of things that you have to be ready for you have to be you have to be flexible you have to be creative you know and something every day is going to come at you that you have to make a decision on whether it's scheduling uh, your team who's out and uh, it's 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 a learning process you you learn something every single day as a coach a quick follow-up did you have much fun this season I mean we we didn't see you on a day-to-day basis in general what were your feelings like um, around this team yeah, I wish I wish we would have got a chance to, to to meet and to be in the same room together as well. You know that that's that's a that's a big thing that you said there. And and I did, I did, I I, I had fun. And there, there's times where it's not so fun, but but this is basketball. It's a it's a beautiful when it's played the right way. Uh, I I just in around this team and these guys and and you've heard me say it, and I would do absolutely anything for every single one of them. Davide. Hey, Coach. Um, is there anything you do differently, um, you know, looking at the whole picture? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's a number of things. I, I don't, I don't want to, you know, really get into specifics of that now, but there, there are. There are a number of things that, uh, that we need to do differently in order to play better so we're not in this type of position next year and play in uh, to, to get into the playoffs. Uh, we'll do one more. Christos, go ahead. Hello, Coach. From your perspective, if you look back, what was the most enjoyable and the most frustrated part of uh, that season for you? Yeah, the most enjoyable part was just being around the guys and around the team every day. You know, and the, and, and the biggest challenge um, to it was, you know, seeing the guys go through different things, like go through the injuries, go through missing games. That was the biggest challenge to me. I don't, I don't, I don't like seeing that for the guys. You know, even the even the latest one with, you know, with Karis, it was as well as he was playing the the things that he went through this year, not being able to join us until until March after the surgery and then playing almost to a hundred percent elite level that he was playing at to, to miss the last couple of games because of the those, those those things were the challenging parts to me. All right, Nate, thank you very much. Appreciate okay, the cooperation. You.